Well, we got some snow last night. We're gonna go check on our little barred rocks we have out here in the yard of the chicken run. But check out what these boys are doing. Well, you probably can't even see it's so bright. Let's fix this here. Oh, see, there we go. That's pretty clever. Did you guys think of that yourself? Canada. There's buckets up there that shark kept doing. Oh. Kept packing it down, so I thought we could do a bigger one. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna have an epic snowball fight here pretty soon. Let's open up the chicken run. I don't even know if the chickens will want to go out. They're usually pretty skittish about snow. Oh, Mom! You got to me! We got two more eggs. Let me see. Here, I'll Wow! I'll take these. The swim break that Jeremiah made works really well. I mean, of course it's still cold in here, but there is no wind coming through until I open this door right here. You know, chickens have thousands of feathers, but so the cold is not really something that you need to worry so much about with them. Um, but this just helps us to take care of them a little bit better and, and keep them out of the wind, which, of course, nobody likes to be in cold wind. What would you find? A fiddle. Pretty. For me? Yeah. Thanks. From that chicken. That one. Uh, this is our chicken that we hatched when we tried to hatch our uh, Morans and this is the only one that we got out of that whole batch. Um, the only one to survive. So this is Jup's chicken and he named her Pita Potter. We're going to go in and show you the difference between these and our bride rocks that we are raising for spring hatching or for to lay eggs in the spring for us. Let's go in and see these chicks, which are not really chicks anymore. They're getting big, aren't they? Yeah. I think she's a, I think Peter Potter might be a boy. Peter Potter's attacking. Okay. This is one of our barred rocks that we hatched, or that we didn't hatch. We ordered. Um, oh, okay. And Peter Potter does not like me holding those. All right. So our barred rocks we ordered, um, I think in September. So they are roughly three months old, and they should start laying. Oh, that really hurt. I think they should start laying when they are six months old. Just in time for spring, we should be getting a new batch of layers, which is great. We got four eggs today, and I know there's a molt on, and it's winter, and our chickens don't like laying, but four eggs. That's the most that we've got. Watch out, babe. She's going to peck you again. Hey, stop it. Um, she's very protective of these for some reason. Uh, four eggs is the most that we've gotten for a couple of months. Um, lately, we haven't been getting any eggs. So we definitely need to start replacing our old flock of chickens. Most of them are the chickens that we started out with, so they're like two years old. Um, maybe even, yeah, going on three years old. So um, we do have a batch of Issa Browns, which we really, really like for egg production. Um, they are about a year and a half old. So we'll definitely keep those, um, but our old flock, we start. We need to start culling um, and getting some new layers in. And this chicken tractor that we've converted to a winter coop for these bardocks, it is really nice and warm in here. There's no snow, so this is really nice. We have the heat lamp in here for them. I'd say it's about 40 degrees in here, um, even though we had about five or six inches of snow last night. It's very, very warm in here for them. We're in our feed room where our cats like to hang out. We're going to get some of the straw and put it in the chicken coop so they can peck around in it and get some exercise. They don't have to go out in the snow.
I figured that a snow day was the perfect day to make something spicy. And I'm making salsa from our tomato sauce that we made over the summer and peppers that we grew and garlic. And that just makes it taste all the better. I usually make salsa a couple of times a year. I thought with this last batch, I think I tripled it. And I thought that it would last a lot longer than it did, but my kids like salsa a lot, which is great because I love to make it. So I always like to follow the recipes when I'm canning. Um, and I use my ball canning book, this one right here. But this recipe I've had for a long time and I don't remember where it came from. It came from a website, um, but I don't remember which one and it is tested. Um, but I just don't remember what it's called or where I got it. All right, this is ready to go into the canner. If you guys want, I will leave my um, salsa recipe down in the description. It is a water bath canning recipe. Um, so I'm just going to put it out there, you guys. Uh, whenever you're canning, you should always um, make sure to follow the recipe exactly because it's a safety thing. Um, this has always worked really well for us, and I'm sure it'll work well for you too if you want to try it. Just with canning, you kind of have to take it into your own hands. And So I guess what I'm just trying to say is I'm not a professional. Do with it what you will, but I'll leave it down in the description um, if you guys want to try it. And I am using my Tadler lids, which I love. You guys know that I love these Tadler lids. I talk about them all the time when I'm canning. It's just a really great product. And they're made here in the USA, which is awesome. doubled this recipe um, because I know that we will definitely eat it. I have a lot left but my canner is full so I'm gonna go ahead and water bath can this and for that you just need a pot and a lid. Anybody, anybody can water bath can because you don't need a pressure canner. We're gonna let that boil for 11 minutes and hopefully they all seal. All right, so I'm going to keep one of these in our fridge. And I'm just gonna put the other two in the freezer. I could just wait until this batch is done and can the rest of this, but it's almost getting to be dinner time or time when I need to start making dinner. So I need to clear off this space. Well, thanks for coming along with us, guys. I hope that whatever the weather is where you are, that you're enjoying it. We'll see you guys next time. Oh.